Today I'm going to show you how to remove this turbo silencer and this intake baffle from your 5th gen Cummins. We're also going to run it on the dyno and see if it actually makes a difference in power and sound. But really quick, comment down below if you think we gained or lost power and how much because I thought it wouldn't make any difference and it actually did, but I'm curious to see what you think. Okay, so this is the factory turbo silencer. We're going to do a pull and see if we can hear anything. Like I don't hear any turbo That's, sound. Yeah, I none. hear zero whistle. Okay. So it'll be interesting to see if we hear whistle afterwards. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, we're gonna do three runs before we remove the turbo silencer. This truck is basically stock. It does have a full delete and a 75 horsepower tune. And if you do want a delete kit for your truck, you can check them out at darkrindiesel.com. Well, let's get the dyno. <laughs> All right, so we just did two runs, and I have load set on the dyno, but I also like to use the foot brake just to build some boost before we start the run. And both of those runs, we got 428 horsepower. Now I'm gonna do two runs where I'm gonna start the run at the same RPM, but I'm not gonna use my brake to load it, and we're just gonna see how much it spools on its own, and we'll do the same comparisons when we remove the turbo silencer ring. So on those two runs where I didn't use the foot brake to build the boost, we dropped to 420 horsepower and 416 horsepower. Now we're gonna take the turbo silencer ring out and see if it makes a difference. So we just gotta take these two hose clamps off. We'll get this air intake piping out of here. Okay, I'm just gonna unplug this exhaust back pressure sensor. This hose right here for your CCV has to come off. I think we're gonna actually have to pull the compressor side of the turbo off. This hose down here for your, uh, your lower boost piping. We're gonna loosen that clamp. Pops right off, just like that. So the V-band clamp is back in there, but it's blocked by this turbo oil feed line. So I'm just gonna cut this little zip tie, careful not to cut the actual electrical. And then we're going to loosen and just pop that oil feed line off to the side. Oh my goodness, that is freaking hot, man. Fresh off the dyno and I'm touching a metal oil line with my bare hands. Woo! We're on the V-band clamp. I'm just gonna loosen it and we'll see what happens. Relieve all that pressure. I'm gonna pop this coolant line off and just tuck it out of the way too, just to give us a little more room. It's the highest point in the cooling system, so I don't think it will really leak much, but I guess we'll find out because I'm not wasting my time draining the cooling system. Come on, it's just stuck on like the littlest part on the bottom. Oh, right in my face, man. Oh my God, it's in my eyes. <laughs> I need to get down. We don't have an eyewash station here. Watch your step. Where's my step? Watch your step. <laughs> uh. Oh, feeling better, bud? It burns a little bit. Coolant is so sweet. So weird. It's like a sweet taste, you know? It's weird. There we go. Oh, that's still hot. I had to end up pulling on the V-band clamp with a pick. Well, I've never done this before. I don't really know what I'm doing. That's why we're doing it on my truck so that if I pile it up, it's me, not you. But if you zoom in here, you see those little, those little kind of, I don't know, detents or whatever. There's one there, there's one there, and there's one there. There's three of them in total. I think I have to drill them out, and then I think this will pop out. <laughs> It kind of worked, I don't know. Guys that at home are like watching this just cringing. They're like, no, don't do it. But that's in there. Quite a bit, I don't know, let's do this last one. Honestly, I feel like I'm just wrecking my turbo at this point. Yeah, I, I just didn't know that this is how in depth we were gonna have to go. When I called you up and I was like, hey, I got a video idea. I didn't realize we were gonna be like mutilating my, you know, 2022 truck with only 30,000 miles on it. Success. Oh my God, that, this is one piece. This is the, here, I'll show you. This is your PCB, Holy look at shit. this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so for those of you that might be considering doing this, Consider this. Yeah, can, first, use a wrench and pull this out, okay? Second, when you drill 
these drill them out much better than I did. Like way better than I did. And then you should be able to pop this thing out. All right, so we're gonna put this back in the truck now. As you can see on the back where this V-band clamp went, there is a little hole. There is a pin that you're gonna line it up with on the turbo, put the V-band clamp on, tighten it back up, and then just uh, hook it back up. That's all we're doing. We got it all back together though. We got that, we still have that baffle in this intake piping. We're gonna leave it for now and see. But we wanna just, you know, do one variable at a time. We don't wanna like do two variables, so. All right, we're gonna run on the dyno again now. Same thing, we're gonna do two runs where I'm gonna kinda of use the brakes to load it, and then two runs where I'm not. We're gonna compare the difference, and maybe we'll notice a difference in sound too. What did we get? Did it go up? It went up, how much did it go up? That was only the first run, we still gotta do more. It's uh, 435 from 428. So we gained seven horsepower. Okay, well, let's run it again. <laughs> Worth it. Four, 435 and 436 horsepower. So we gained seven and eight horsepower with the silencer ring removed. So let's do two runs where I don't use the foot brake to build boost before we start the run. And we'll see if those compare with the previous results. Okay, so we saw another gain doing that as well. Remember when we didn't foot break the load, we got 420 and 416 horsepower. Those runs, we just got 424 and 423 horsepower right there. So we gained about average like six horsepower with no foot load and like seven, eight horsepower with, uh, with loading the dyno. So we almost a 10 horsepower gain. But I think we should take out that resonator in, the, in, the, in that pipe and then we'll go take it for a drive. And maybe do like one run on the dyno too, just to see. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So for this, you're gonna have to take this big hose clamp out and you're not gonna be able to reuse it after, so you're gonna have to get another one. And I usually just use side cutters and kinda just kinda deform it, try to twist it. There's really no good way. There we go. So yeah, we're not reusing that afterwards. And when you put it back together, there's just a little arrow right there and a little arrow right there. You just line them up. You should just be able to pull it out. It's like that. Take that out and uh, see if uh, it makes any difference in sound and power. Yell through it, see if it sounds better. <laughs> we're just gonna really quick do the same two runs and then two runs again, just to keep everything consistent. Oh, that felt like a good one. That felt pretty spicy. What? <laughs> we went up more? Went up more. All right, here are the results. So we just did one run with foot load and one run without. We got 440, which was another four horsepower increase. But then with no load, we got 424, which is the same as we got previously. So if we go over these, before we did anything, we got 428 horsepower with load. We removed the turbo silencer, then we got 436 horsepower, and then we removed that baffle and we got 440. So in total, we gained 12 horsepower. Now without load, we started at 418, went up to 424, and then it still was 424 after we removed the baffle. So that was a six horsepower increase. So under load, we got a 12 horsepower increase. So I can honestly say that 10 horsepower, would you say, Luke, 10 horsepower? Yeah. 10 horsepower gain? You gain 10 horsepower if you do what we did. Hey, shut up. <laughs> now we just gotta take it for a quick burn and see if it sounds different on the highway. Oh, this is the first pull. A little bit. Do you hear? I, think the I, t I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Yeah, you can hear just like tiniest little high pitched squeal, but you, you don't really notice the difference in sound, honestly. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But I still think it's worth it because we gained 10 horsepower. I'm gonna do a pull here and we're gonna see like a fast pull and we're gonna see what it feels like. I really don't notice much difference. 10 horse though, are you gonna notice You're that? You're probably not gonna really notice it. I'm getting about one liter per 100 kilometers better than I normally do, 
So is, is that from this or is it just the conditions outside? It's kind of tough to say, but I still say we gained 10 horsepower on the dyno. Doesn't really make much difference in sound. So it's up to you if you guys want to do it or not. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go check out the merch at darkirondiesel.com. We got delete kits on there too. And check out these other videos that will pop up on the screen after. We're doing the 12 valve build that's actually pretty sick. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you on another video.